What is in doubt is whether you understand that the job of a TV presenter is about your relationship with your team on air and especially for all the hours that you're off air. So unfortunately, Stuart was eliminated by the public vote, but perhaps not for his ability to be a presenter, but his inability to be present as a team player. Exhibit A, the classic, a meltdown. It was kind of for me just get as far as I could. And then I unfortunately had one day where I kind of thought, I'm going to go a bit nuts today and kind of shoot myself in the foot. Oh. I think I shot myself more than the foot. You know, and do you know what? When you have a little meltdown and we all have them, you unfortunately did it. <laughs> On camera. I know, it's like the biggest sin, you know, you've got to hide everything, don't you? You've got to go in and just be, hi everybody, I feel really great today. But you know, I didn't, just trying to ignore everybody, put my music in, and then I sort of let it come in front of the judges, and, and obviously that was kind of my, that's what I, how I let myself down, that's why they put me up. Exhibit B, ruffling a few feathers in the group. They kept asking us questions off camera. They're trying to poke reactions and provoke reactions. What do you think of so-and-so? This person said this about you. Why do you think this? You know, so they're trying to create the disharmony, and then all of a sudden for one task, they wanted us to all to be harmonious, singing and kind of all happy together. And the truth was that wasn't, I suppose, the, the background to what was going on in the show. Exhibit C, giving vital inside information about that VIP party to Daniela, in his words, the hot chick. Oh yeah, I know, wasn't that so silly? Yes, it was, because you were labelled among the group with the tagline for Exhibit D, a cheater. I don't think you can call me a cheat. I mean, people can call me whatever they want, but the, the definition of a cheat, I don't think is the sort of the behaviour that I exhibited. I mean, all I did was pick up the phone and answer it. Somebody said, we're going uh, to the VIP launch and uh, we we're going to be asked questions on camera. So we knew it was the task, but let's not kid ourselves. Everyone who lives in Dublin knew that event was on. They also had friends, models, etc., that were going to the party. So people knew that was on. And of course, it makes good TV to pretend like I'm a cheat. Oh my goodness, he knew all this stuff. Regardless of the if, buts and maybe Stu, you'll be sorely missed. Well done, you did a super, super job. Now over to multiple. I'm the next expose presenter. You can't get me out of here. Anthony Kelly. Public vote, you've been booted out nearly, but not quite. Yeah, fourth is that bad. No, um, yeah, it's it's kind of weird. It's a weird relief in a strange way to be out because I never got, I don't think I ever got into a run of what I wanted to do on the show. So every week when I went up for a public vote, it kind of rolled into something else and I was fighting against, should I be here? Do people want me here? You know, the public want me here. Now do the contestants want me here? The judges don't want me here? Because it was, it was like a fight back and forth for me. So it was weird. But was there resentment among the group when he returned triumphant from the eviction polls week after week? It's a competition. It was for one job. So I'd say everybody, anybody who would have come back, they would have been like, oh God, this person's back on off. But then I'd say it got to a little bit of a stage when they said, Anthony's back again. Oh God, Anthony's coming back again. And then they never know whether the public are saying, no, actually, let's keep this guy in for a laugh or we want him to do the job. Speaking of the job, who in their minds has got the goods? Personally, I think I'd like to see Simon get it. And Stuart? I suspect it might be Sean. So for the nail-biting final, check out Total Exposure next Tuesday here on TV3.